Walking was very painful for me. The doctors I did go to told me that I would lose my foot. Mm -mm. I couldn't accept that. There had to be a better way. I still remember when I first met Dolores. She, initially, she wouldn't make eye contact with me. And she was feeling very down and just sort of listened to me and walked away thinking that uh, nothing was going to happen. And I really thought I was at the end of my rope. But he's steady telling me, I can help you, I can help you, I can help you. She was a good candidate for reconstruction of her vessels. He told me the first day that I met him, we won't have to cut off anything. You're going to keep your foot. What I saw in her vessels, that uh, they were completely blocked. I was able to go in and clean those vessels and restore blood flow in them. To me, my future looks bright. Just being alive, just being able to do things with my family, to go places. Dolores came to us with no options and walked away with many options. I'm not dancing yet, but uh, that's one of the things I want to do also. Just let me get out there and shake what the good Lord gave me. This is a great team effort. From the minute she walks into the door at Metro to the minute she goes home, it's all care provided to her by everyone involved along the way. Metro Health was amazing. I really consider myself blessed. It's a healing place.